Hey guys, this is Drums and not Drums and Guns, but it's my other channel, Ollie Crafted, back here to make another tutorial. Basically, this tutorial is how to make a train station with redstone rings. So yeah, train station. So, this one's only going to be like an 8 minute video, because I need to, um, because it's all spack, and my recorder only lets me record, oh god, only lets me record, um, up to 8 minutes, well up to 10 minutes, but it, uh, over 8 minutes is just, it messes all it up. So we will use stone for the block, and we need rail, powered rail, detector rails, trap door, redstone torch, button, um, redstone, redstone repeaters. Right, first of all what you do is you go to wherever you want to build it, and go 1, 2, 3, Seven up, and then go here. Place trapdoor on the second one up. Go underneath, dig down two, and then dig one. Doing this legit is very difficult to just do because it is a very tricky process. And then you want to build this shape. Place your redstone torches. There and there. So it looks like that. Go to the top. Go here. And then bring it out to. And just make a staircase. For the rails to get up to the reloading bay. So. Yeah, and just put power rails all the way up here. And power it, obviously. For a block. If you want, and I just like doing that just to make it make, make it look more legit. Joking, he needs a legit in Minecraft <laughs> anyway. Yeah, then bring redstone down here, place a repeater facing that way just to keep the currency going. The current going, so currency, then go along to up like that. So a small staircase. Build this structure, put two rails like that, and then a rail like that, another rail, and then three powered rails and power them. So when a cart goes over this, it will send a signal to this which unblocks it and lets some of the carts down, which you will see in a minute. It's just so the carts can't drop out. And go here. Place your button, and then we need a minecart, we don't need a trapdoor anymore, so just place your minecart there, and place, fill this up first, obviously, two more, Nope, that was it. Anyway, yeah. So then when that's full, as you can see the minecarts are just stacked there. If you flip this switch, that triggers that, which sends another minecart there. So, yeah, we've got five minutes left. So I can do, and then when you can do the other thing that I wanted to show you guys about this. So if you just make him go along there, and then just the arrival lounge or arrival place is exactly the same. Exactly the same. In the matter of fact, where you go like this and just place another torch down just to power these. Place a button. This. But 
then you can just do these. And for this again, because that one you will get out. That's what I've got to show you. When you get out of this one, I need brush plate. When you get out of this one, just there. When you get out, you send that minecart. Oh, so you don't need that. You send that minecart along here, along here. Power it, and up one of these things again. Your button there. And then you walk in. Sit in it, it's because it comes from there. Sit in it, and yeah, it's pretty much that. Let's do this to make it look good, like that. So, arrival, departure. So, you come in here, sit, and then you go here, 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 here. Redstone torch, and then I'll just bring this back around. Just so I can show you what it looks like when you arrive. Why? Just make this quickly. Just make it curve out to where we want it to go. Then just do powered rails. One powered rail. One powered. In there, one part in there. So then, when you arrive, you want to do this. I forgot about this, guys. You do exactly the same thing. Like so. Ding ding. Then go like that. And like that. Then, when it gets out. You get out. It sends you, and it sends the cart up here and stacks it again. So let's see this in action because we've got a minute left. When I press this button, that refills. This comes in here. When you get out of the cart, it sends the cart along and it drops down into there. And then when you press this button, this sends you back to drop a oh, bum. I forgot I had to do something like that. Oh, I'll just reload. Yeah. But yeah, you have to obviously bring the rails up here. Yeah, that's the only thing I didn't do. That's annoying. Now it won't work if the cart isn't in the back. Just because the power isn't big enough and it's not got something to push off at the back. So yeah, you come up, drop. When you get out, it sends the cart up and refill it. So you've got a constant loop. I mean, we've got 13 seconds left, so this is the end of part one. And I'll, in the next tutorial, I will be showing you how to do multi-directional tracks off of this. Cool. Peace out, guys. See you later.